you, if you say, hey, Mamta, are you spendthrift? This is pinching. No, pinching. Pinching the money. You, know? you yes. pinch. You pinch. So you pinch. You don't want one one rupee. One. House, house, house things. House life. Oh, okay. Life is just fantastic. Amazing. How about yours? I, li I like that shrugging. <laughs> shrugging. This is called as shrugging your shrugging. shoulders. Yeah, nice. Yes. <laughs> shrugging. So uh, let's uh, talk about some uh, what we call notions or body language, body action. Okay. So this is called hmm. shrug. Shrug. You just shrugged. You know, yes. oh, life life is life is good. So what do you call <laughs> what do you call this? Shrug. What do you call this? Oh, nodded, nodded. No, nodding. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you call this? Okay. Snap. Snap. Yeah. Snap your Snap. finger. Finger. This you know. It's clapping normally. Clap. 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 Hmm. What is this action called as? Knuckle. Knuckle. No, 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 no. This is knuckles. Oh, These this is knuckles. Knuckles. And uh, what do you call this action? Okay, this one. Crack, this crack, crack your crack. knuckles. Okay, crack your finger. <laughs> and yeah. whistle. You know whistling? Whistling, yes. Whistle. No, no. Yes. Without, this is flute. This is flute. Okay. So whistle. Whistle. Okay, by, uh, by our lips. You know, we'll do it. you know, yes, you know? no, 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little <bit. laughs> Show me, can you show that whistling? Oh, no, you, I how, can't. Show how do you whistle? I don't know. <laughs> then, no. <laughs> then, um, uh, what do you call this? This action, wrinkle, blinking, blinking. If you blinking. just keep, yeah, yeah, keep your eyes oh, close, open, close, open, blinking. close, like blinking light. So uh, he, she was blinking her eyes, or right. simply blinking, simply. <coughs> and if you close only one eye, like this, Ankhmarna. What do you call it in English? Winking. winking, winking, winking. So winking is with one eye. Blinking is you close two eyes. Right. Okay. So these are That's... some some normal actions, you know. So shrugging, <laughs> shrugging, Shrug. crack your knuckles, snap, whistle, nod, blink, wink. <laughs> right. Okay. So <clears throat> today we have a topic about financial freedom. So sometimes you must have been wondering whether how it is pronounced, finance or finance. How do you pronounce? Finance. Finance. Both are correct. You can say yes. finance. You can say finance. It is finance is British and finance is American. So we learned English from the Britishers. So it is. So maybe you are, if you are. Uh, so always you can financial. My financial situation is bad. Means. My economic uh, condition is not good. Yeah, I don't have much money. I am in debt. I am uh, not able to pay my loans. I am in debt. I am. I am insolvent. Insolvent In means I don't. I have a lot of loans to pay, but I don't have any money. So you can file an insolvency. So what do you think? Uh, uh, so now I know you are a student. So what do you do for your pocket money? Where from where you I, get your? Yeah. Mm. Okay, I do teach to the student. Uh huh. That's the it. Students. You don't take money from your parents. Uh, no. Not at all. Never. Uh, not not at all. But. Uh, yeah, uh, after my graduation, I have been teaching to the student at coaching center and mm -hmm. somewhat in school also. But nowadays, only coaching. Coaching. So, whatever you earn, you spend everything. Yes. Do you save a little bit? Yes. You save? Yes, sir. How do you save? You put it in a piggy bank I, or you have bank. a normal bank? Normal bank. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Let me ask you something. Uh, you have to give me. Or I have to give you rather five thousand rupees. I've taken loan from you, okay? Okay. So now I have to pay that back to you. I have to repay that money. How can I pay that? What are the modes of payment? Financial transactions. Okay. How can you can I... pay me online? Online. Online means from bank to bank transfer. So you have to give me yes. your bank details, then name of the account number, everything. Then I can transfer it to your bank. Okay. That is one way of transferring money. Next method. Next UPI number. 
okay maybe you can say to give me like your phone number pay. so i can do it on phone pay or paytm pay. or google pay or razor pay all right yes mm -hmm. so next next method another method next method by post post by money, post money order money, money. Okay. order money order <laughs> so for that you have to go to a post office have you ever gone to a post office Yes, I have. Uh, I have gone to the post office, but not sending money. Uh -huh. Just sending the documents. Sending documents. It may be your job application or college application. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, how was your experience in a post office? It was a first. It was amazing because I went first time and mm -hmm. I got to know about something that how to post something. That and was I, first, I have time. first time. First time. First time. Yes. Uh -huh. So you and put my... all all your papers in an envelope. and then gave it to that guy and he must have waited that after weighing then he will tell okay this much uh, stamps you have to fix on that and then you yes. give it registered post right was it a registered yes, post no, no it was not it was document oh it was document so what what was your job you had you had to give it to them you had to give it to yes, them or i have been taking admission to the coaching classes so they have to collect some documents related to our study 10th or 12th class certificate okay, then i have okay. to post it post it mm -hmm. so yeah. how, do you know how to send money through post office you said now no. i can send, yeah so now suppose i have to send you money through post office so i go there and i ask them a money order form a money order form a long form mm -hmm. will be there and you take and you write the detail okay mamata so and so address and i have to fill up my address and they will ask you how much money you want to transfer 5000 rupees and uh, there will be charges for that so it will, they will ask you charges 50 rupees so total amount 5050 and there is a portion a place where i can communicate with you i can write something hi mamta i am repaying the amount i have taken as a loan from you thank you very much wish you all the best okay now i hand over the form and 5050 50 rupees is the commission for the government for doing this job you know for this facility so they will take it and they will transfer it to your local address and that postman will come to your place and give to you that paper and 5000 rupees so you can see wow well, this is sent by konand kumar and you have written something this mm. is how you send a post post money order then so three methods like bank transfer upi payment money order what else Any by cash if by cash living... by cash like if you can meet then i can take money from your pocket this this is your money 5000 rupees yeah. sorry i can't give you interest on that so thank you very much for your timely help for your yeah. timely you are a wonderful woman so uh, my thanks i give you number 5 mm -hmm. number 5 can i give you a check Oh yes, check. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so if you have bank account, you will have a checkbook. So check you can. Ha. Huh. So what all you will write? Have you written a check ever in your life? Yeah, I have written one hundred rupees <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> so pay. So first line will be pay to. Pay. Pay to. So I can write pay to Mamada Banerji, and uh, yeah, I write. Then they will ask uh, the amount. Okay, in words, five thousand, and there is a box. Yes. You write five thousand there, and date and signature. Same yes. signatures should match with the same signature what you have given in the bank, and I yes. gi give it to you. Okay, then yes. what you can do? You can go to the bank and give the check, and immediately they will give you five thousand rupees. All right. Yes. Sir. Any, other, in, any other method? Uh, I could not find any other method. Okay, so your first method you said it is it is online transfer, right? Yes. So how do you do the online transfer? I do I do use mostly phone pay. Oh, that is UPI. UPI, yes. Uh -huh. Other than that, there is something called online transfer, on bank transfer, online transfer, internet banking. Have you heard about internet banking? I heard, but I haven't used that one. Like like uh, I have a bank account. and i yes. go to the bank or i call the bank guys and tell i need an internet banking internet banking so they will give you a password and a user id and you have to log in with your user id and password so you will go to the bank's online page because now the bank is on your laptop yes the bank yes. is on your computer okay computer. now you also should have a an internet. online online internet banking okay 
So I know you have banned details, numbers and all. So I go, I open, I log in and then I add Mamata as a beneficiary in my account. So there will be a lot of beneficiary. I can add my wife, my brother, my sister, my friends, anybody I can add for whom I have to send money. So I'll add Mamata also. Okay, then transfer money. Then I'll ask the beneficiary. Beneficiary is Mamata, amount 5,000, anything. So whatever they do in the bank, I can do it at home. And I click, the money goes to Mamata. Yes. Have you heard we about Yes. No need I to have. go to the bank. And have you heard Thank about you. draft, bank draft? Yes, bank draft I heard. I go to a bank. I say I need to take a bank draft for Mamata and I have to fill up a form. So they will give you a check like paper. It's not a check. It's called as a draft. So I can send it to you. So you can either go and uh, say deposit it in your bank or you can send it through anybody. So even if you have account in different banks, you can. So, so many okay. methods of uh, seven, eight methods of. So there are a lot of scams also happening. Yes. Banking scams. Have you ever heard about anything like you know, people cheating, hacking and taking your money away? Yes, I do read some newspapers, so I have heard of uh, all of these news. Is, news. <laughs> or news. Don't say news. Yes. News. That is the only mistake so far you made. One mistake. Yes. News. Don't yes. do that. Okay. So what do you believe in? You believe in spending the money. Money is to be spent or money is to be saved? I think what if we need uh, money should be spent on some particular area which we need to spend. Then we can only uh, spend money. Like if I am a student, so I have to spend my money on books or education. Then I will spend those money. Hmm. And if the money is left, so I will save those money into my bank account. Wow. Have you heard the proverb, money saved? Penny saved is penny earned. Penny, uh, a penny, penny means... Money, money. money, money, coin with a penny, you know, because in American they call it a penny. No, we say mm -hmm. a coin or something. So a penny saved is a penny earned. Like, you know, suppose you earn 10,000 rupees a month, and if you save like 1,000 rupees, it's as good as earning 11,000 rupees. You get 10,000, and if you can save like 1,000 rupees, so next month your money, your earnings will be 11,000 rupees. 10,000 you will get from there, and 11,000. If you are, if you save the entire 10,000, next month you will have 20,000. So what is yes. the difference between saving and investing? Like, you know, you might have heard the word investment. What's the difference? Investments related to spending money on something which we are interested in, right? Like if you want to spend money on business mm -hmm. or on some, like something that we are going to, uh, like, which is in need. We are in need, like we, for a startup, our business or any classes or any mm -hmm. coaching center. So we are investing money on those area. And uh, the saving is the amount which are left or we should uh, save money like 20 or 2000 in a uh, 10,000 rupees I am earning and I left 2000 rupees in a saving mm -hmm. and that I invest on my business. So saving means like making that money double or you know, okay. you, you, you put it like you suppose you buy some gold. So you are investing in gold. Okay. Yes. You're buying some stocks. Have you heard about share stock market? Mm -hmm. So that means after like three, four years, your money will be doubled or maybe it will be, if you are so lucky, it will be tripled. Like you invest like thousand rupees. After five years, you get 2000 or 3000 rupees. Uh -huh. Yes. But saving means you are just keeping that money in the bank. So hmm. you get your 10,000, you spend 8,000, 2000, you keep in the bank. You don't do anything with that. You don't buy shares. You don't buy gold. You don't buy property or you don't start up or in, in, in a business, nothing. So that is simply saving. So that's not a good idea. The people who are rich, very rich, then the, what they do is they spend the money for in their investments. Whatever they have, they invest that money. They will buy a property. After three, four years, the property price will go up and they sell it. They get money. They buy stocks. And the stock market will go up. They sell it. They make money. They buy gold. When the gold price is going up, they sell it. They make money. Suppose you have 1 lakh rupees. You keep it in the bank. That money will sleep. It will not grow. It will not grow. 
So, but you have that 2,000 or 10,000 rupees, whatever you are saving, that is there. But suppose you have your sister, you both have 10,000 rupees. Your dad gave you 10,000 rupees. So you put it in the bank and your sister invested in stock market, for example. Sometimes if she's not lucky, she will lose all the money. She, if the stock market is tanked, then you lose all the money. Okay. What is the meaning of, meaning of spend thrift? Means you spend a lot. You spend okay. a lot. So the word spend thrift. You, if I you, if I ask, you say no, I'm not a spend thrift. I save for money. I spend. Of course, I spend whenever money uh, is required for something. Do you feel that money is to be spent? All money you can spend. No, you don't think that. But there are people who spend all the money, and they are called as spend thrift. So if you are uh, are you a penny pincher? You will pinch the money. Oh, I will not spend like in a kanjus. Kanjus. <laughs> so, are you a kanjus? I'm not too much. Like, you know, sometimes you uh, like I give, I have some money. So, I will, I will see, oh, one rupee, two rupee, three, four. This is pinching, no pinching, pinching the money. You know, you yes. pinch, you pinch. So, you pinch. You don't want one, one rupee, one note to be lost or given extra. So you are a yes. money pincher. The right word is kanjus. So you know some yes. kanjus in your family or your neighborhood? Mm, no. So uh, suppose I give you 15,000 rupees. How would you okay. spend How would you spend that money? 50,000. 50,000 I'm giving you on this okay. uh, women's day. I'm giving you do whatever you want. How would okay. you spend it? How would you spend it? Or would you spend it first of all? Or would you spend the entire money? Or would you save the entire money? Hmm. Uh, first of all, I will spend money on my education. Ah. And I will take some courses which I needed. Mm -hmm. I will spend on those. I think these courses which I am thinking, it is too much costly, so I will spend whole money. I will not save anything. <laughs> uh, okay. Not If not for education, then what will you do? Will you, okay. not will you spend some money, money, money in a salon? Will you go to a beauty parlor? No, I am not fond of these kind of things. So I will uh, buy some gold from those money and uh, I will uh, save it on my bank account. Some money I will save on my bank account. Will you buy a new smartphone? Yes, I will buy a laptop by this. <laughs> All right. Take yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Thank sir. Bye-bye. Okay.